Hello everyone, good morning. I am not, I'm just about running late. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. So let's dive into my face and let's get this party started. This is not an actual party, but uh, we can pretend, right? Yes, I have a great imagination. So this is a getting ready with me, uh, if you can't tell. If you are new to my getting ready with me videos, I always list all the products down below just cause, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's annoying for me to be like, so this is this product and like interrupt chatting with you. You know? I don't know. But that is that. I've already washed and moisturized my face. Gave that time to set in. And now I'm just putting on my primer. Ugh. I have the honor of getting my period. So uh, yeah, I've got some pimples going on. Oh, this one hurts so bad, so bad. But, hey, you honey. You wanna help me with my makeup? No, you don't think it's that fun? Okay. So I am on my way this morning to the dermatologist. And since the dermatologist is close to where my mom works, I'm gonna go see my mom for lunch. Oh, that was a lot. And, yeah, you know, do a typical day. Testing out a lip product today, which I'm excited about. I don't know if it's quite a YouTube made me buy it, but kind of. It's the, the Leaves, the Revlon HD matte, blah, 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 blah. I really should have worn my contacts, but I'm just not feeling it, you guys. I didn't get much sleep last night. I was busy editing a video, and then, oh, old habits die hard. Okay, downward strokes, downward strokes. Um, I was editing a video, and then before I went to bed, I wanted to watch something. But of course, you can't just watch one episode of something. You have to watch, like, five. And that's something, lately, for me has been Bob's Burgers. Oh my gosh. If you don't like cartoons, dudes, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just found out about Bob's Burgers. I know, about time, but I randomly watched it one night. I think it was on Adult Swim or Cartoon Network or I don't, I don't know. There was nothing on TV and I just like having a TV on in the background for some noise. And so I was like, ah, oh, you know, whatever, I'll just leave it on this. I don't know what the show is, so, like, it makes no difference that I can't, like, listen to it or whatever. But then I actually was watching it, and I actually liked it, so. They've only got, like, the first four, I think, seasons on Netflix, but I'm working my way through those. It's just so funny. And the characters are endearing, like... I don't know. So let me know if there are any other fellow Bob's Burgers enthusiasts out there. Because I am thoroughly enjoying it. And I've never heard anyone talk about it. The only person I've heard that could talk about it before is Drew Monson. Because <laughs> at one point his hair definitely looked like Tina's. And so he made a video with a yellow barrette in his hair. And it was hilarious, as he is. At least I think he is. But I exchanged my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer because I really did love it, but the color I got was just about too dark on me. The camera made it look like it was 20 shades too dark on me. I would say it was like half a shade too dark on me in real life. The camera just, I hate it that it does that, but uh, so I exchanged it anyways for the light neutral. I had had the medium light neutral before, but this one, it'll be better just going into fall and winter or whatever. Um, you know, my skin and lots of people's skin tends to get 
paler because we stay huddled up inside, especially in Minnesota. So, yeah, I was super bummed though because a lot of people in my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer video, um, people were saying, oh, they go into store and the colors are always sold out except for like the darker ones, blah, blah, blah. You know, that sucks. But so I was kind of anticipating that going into my local Sephora as well, but I was really hoping that wasn't going to be the case. But then I got in and I was like, no, like the three lightest shades were all gone. But there was an employee and he, oh my gosh, beautiful. So, oh, his face was just like beat. It was so, so good. It wasn't like, it was a lot, but it wasn't too much. And it was just like sculpted perfection and just like whatever. But I was talking to him and I told him, oh, I needed a different shade and... Where's my... Uh, hold on, I need to go get my setting powder. Oh, I knew I had forgotten something, but, you know, he was asking if he could help me with anything, blah, 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 and I was like, oh yeah, like, I was looking for this powder in a, in a lighter shade, but it looks like you guys are out, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure we are out of that color, blah, blah, blah. And then we dug through the magical drawer underneath, and there was one left of the light neutral. So, happy days. Yeah, there's so much in the floor right now where I'm just like, I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. But that's just me being a hoarding, selfish person. <laughs> I don't need any of it, so I've been good. The VIB sale is coming out though. I actually think that's tomorrow. Is today the 5th? <laughs> what are dates, you guys? I wouldn't know. But I don't know that I'm gonna get anything. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I should just to take advantage of it, but I know that I don't need anything. So I'm like trying to be like, no, Cassie. No. No. But like, it would take down significantly the price of that Marc Jacobs holiday eyeshadow palette. And then with Ebates, like, that's a thing. So like, you could probably get it down with Ebates and everything to like, what, $75? But that's still like, that's ridiculous. I don't, I'm not going to, but like in my head, I'm like scheming. I'm like, yeah, that'll be perfect. Blah, I can totally afford that. I can't afford that. I can dream. What am I looking for? The I like felt like I had everything all planned out last night and now I like feel so discombobulated I'm like I don't know what I'm doing uh, Where's my brush? You guys I'm a super struggle bus today. This is not good Not good at all That's okay I'm gonna make it make it happen. Oh and speaking of Sephora so many people like when I do my uh, foundation reviews and sometimes I'm just reviewing a sample that I get from Sephora, there are so many people that ask me like, can you really just go into Sephora and like ask for a sample and not buy anything, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can. Oh my gosh, you guys, I do it all the time. I shouldn't say all the time, but like if I ever want to test a foundation or whatever, whatever, yeah, like that's... This, those sales associates, they're usually bored anyway, so like give them something to do, you know? Like literally, that's what they're there for. They have sample containers and baggies and permanent markers ready to go so that, you know, they can get those samples for you. Um, I don't know that it works for like all the products because I don't know for an eyeshadow how can they really like give you a sample, but I know like with liquids, perfumes, foundations, primers, uh, moisturizers, this, that, and the other thing. Those things, absolutely they can get you a sample. I just, I think it's so wasteful if I were to like go and be it from Ulta or Sephora, whatever, to go and like buy the full size just to try it out and then end up not liking it and then returning it. Like I just think that's so wasteful and not fair to Sephora and I feel like I'm abusing their like return policy. Like I just don't like doing that when I know I can get a sample, you know? Like that's what it's there for. So yes, you absolutely can. Just so you know, I've been using this Paula's Choice palette 
I showed in my last haul. Gosh, when was that haul? A month ago? A couple months ago? But it's so nice, you guys. I'm just using the kind of peachy, peachy orangey coral. <laughs> it's one of those really standard blush colors, but it's really pretty. And these really are so soft and like finely milled. Oh, they're so silky. And then the highlight, I just rub that in. Yeah, you go for it. Ooh, ooh, so shiny. Probably too shiny, but I don't care. I love a good highlight. Um, thank you to everyone and anyone who has signed up for Paula's Choice, Ebates, now there's that Octolee program for YouTubers, like, anyone who ever signs up with my referral links, I really, really, like, I'm, I don't know how to express myself well. I'm so, so grateful. Let me zoom you in now that we're going to the eyes. I apologize if we go in and out of focus. I'm trying my best, believe it or not. But thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me that you would use my links. And, you know, not only are you saving money, but it saves me money. So I really, I really appreciate it a lot. And then people who told me with the color tattoos or paint pots, whatever, I have to do it. I haven't done it yet. But people told me if you, like, take a toothpick and just, if you, this, I'm getting ahead of myself. If you have a paint pot or color tattoo, whatever, cream eyeshadow, and it's starting to dry up or whatever, I had two or three people tell me, um, I think this was in my Best of Worship Beauty last month, because I mentioned this and said how it was starting to dry up. People told me that if you just take a toothpick and, like, swirl it around and mush it around, and then you can, like, you know, flatten it back up again, that it's it goes right back to its normal creamy consistency, and it's almost, like, more creamy and wonderful than it was when you originally bought it. What? So, thank you guys for letting me know. Y'all are so smart. And, um... Yeah, I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate that you share your knowledge with me because I would have never known that. Was that like a Pinterest thing? You people just know things. Things that I don't. Like, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't... You know, some people will be like, God, you're a beauty guru. How, like, why do you do your makeup so wrong? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm, I'm not a makeup guru. I don't consider myself one at all. I just like to review makeup on YouTube. And then that automatically, apparently, means I'm a guru. No, I am not a makeup artist. Makeup art and, like, traditional fine arts that I got my degree in and everything, so different. So different. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I don't know everything when it comes to makeup. I actually don't know much. But, here's a product from Mimi Box that they sent to me. It was just one of those things where they sent it and it didn't say like, do a review video. It's like one of those things where it's like, if you use it, great. If you don't, whatever, <laughs> like enjoy. And um, oh, I posted a picture of this on Instagram. Focus, look how pretty. It's another one of the Pony collaboration palettes that they came out with. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know guys, which color should I use? Which color should I use? It's so exciting. I've been loving my Serenity and Scott palette, but I think I have to cheat on it today and use this one. I mean, should I do something interesting or should I be boring? I'm gonna be boring today, you guys, I'm sorry. I don't feel pink or purple today. Ooh. And with these shadows, I feel like they're pretty much the same as the last pony palette that I reviewed in that they are a bit sheer but I'm okay with that purely because I know a lot of uh, Korean eye makeup they like it to be more sheer and natural so like pony is a Korean YouTube makeup person and so I know that that's like what she was going for is that it's a bit sheerer and you can build it up but 
it's still super pretty, you know? And they're super soft, super silky. And super glittery, as you can see. I'm getting to that point where I'm like, this brush is dirty. So is this one, so is this one. Great. And by great, I mean, <laughs> I hate washing my brushes. Oh, I love these kind of olive -y forest greens. Yo, the sparkle on this is insane in the membrane. Anyone? Nope. All right. So, I don't know what got me thinking about this right now, but the other day, I was sleeping because, you know, the way that I work, I usually do my video stuff, like, in the wee hours of the night, and by that it's like, you know, midnight through 4am, like those are my, those are my good hours, and, oh, fall out, oh yeah, like those are where I'm at my prime. One morning, at like 7am, maybe it was like quarter after 7, I don't know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. All of a sudden, I was obviously sleeping because I had been up until four in the morning. Oh my goodness, I need to calm down. I'm getting a little aggressive with my eyeshadow now, oops. But all of a sudden, I hear bing bong, 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 and we have a very loud doorbell. So I'm freaked out. I'm like, what the, am I going to die? Like, what is going on? Or like, maybe did my dad like lock himself out or something? Like, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. All these things are going through my mind. Galileo is terrified because loud noises. He does not do well with them. And so finally I get up, pepper spray in hand because yes, I am that person. And I go to the door. I'm like looking like an absolute hot mess. Like, really bad. Really bad. Ooh, I didn't know I was gonna be going so smoky today on the eyes. All right. Note to self invest in more liner brushes. Love yourself. So I go to the door and I look through the eye hole first. Oh, sorry, it's hard to talk and do eyeliner at the same time. But I didn't see anyone through the... What is that called? A peep? A peephole? A peek hole? Shoot, guys, I'm blanking. But I looked through it, and I didn't see anyone. So I was like, what the heck? So I opened the door, like, trepidatiously. And I look around the corners... You know, look left, look right, didn't see anyone, and then all of a sudden, pardon my language, but this punk-ass little kid jumps out from around the corner of our place and looks at me, screams, and then starts to run away. <laughs> and in my head, I'm just like, you punk-ass little kid, like, how dare you wake me up and then scream because I'm assuming I look terrible, which I, I did. And so that was that. I think I yelled around the corner like, you know, what do you think you're doing? Like never do that again or whatever. And then I just, you know, I went back to bed. Well, <laughs> so I told my dad this. And he was like, oh, that's so weird, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I know, it was awful, blah. <laughs> And then, like, maybe a week later, my dad came home from work, and he's like, so, remember that one time that kid, like, was ringing our doorbell and blah, 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 and I'm like, yeah, how could I forget? He's like, well, so, I was talking to the neighbors that just moved in next to us, and because the guy that moved in had been living there for maybe a month or two now, um, but then apparently his wife and son moved in, because they are from Germany. <laughs> and 
<laughs> so he said he was introducing his family to us, his wife and son, or to my dad. <laughs> Guess who his son is? It was that little kid that was ringing the doorbell and apparently the kid like got lost and you know thought that my place was his place and he got locked out and blah 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 blah. Which like makes me feel like a terrible person but at the same time it's like ugh, ugh, I want to be mad so. <laughs> I want to go over there and like, because apparently the little kid really, he doesn't look like he's any older than like seven. He doesn't really speak any English yet, or hardly any, I guess my dad said. Um, so I want to go over there and like scare him and be like, remember me, except in German. So that's my really fun story. I hope you enjoyed it. So I think that's good for my eye shadow. I'm just going to be a glitter. A glitter bomb today. I'm embracing that. I really am so happy that the, I'm oh, sorry you can't see, but that the waterproof super sizer, the first one that I tried out was just a dud. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, I'm so, so, so happy because this mascara, the Super Sizer, gives me life. And I needed it in waterproof. It's so good. I'm officially on to my second tube of this Maybelline Lash Sensational that a couple of you sent my way. And I'm still so appreciative for it. Uh, especially because this Lash Sensational from Maybelline plus the Super Sizer is everything. So many people compliment my lashes so much more since I started using this combo and it's because the combination of the two, oh, it is divine. It's so good, it's so good. Oh, oh, and of course as I say that, I stab myself in the eye. Fabulous. But like, this lash sensational, it's good. Like, my lashes look decent with it on, but one, it's extra not waterproof, at least the couple that you guys sent my way, which is totally fine because with those kind of mascaras, I just top them with a waterproof mascara and then ta-da. But so, the lash sens- did I just- oh, you guys, I can't talk and do mascara. Um. The Lash Sensational looks good, but then you add the CoverGirl and it just... Oh. There's so many happy noises that I want to make right now, but they are too inappropriate for YouTube. And for my mom, who watches my videos. <laughs> oh boy. You do have to get used to the wand of this Super Sizer. It is weird. And you do really have to, like, twirl it when you apply it, but oh, it makes all the difference in the world. And it is so worth getting used to. I mean, look at the difference. With the Super Sizer, without the Super Sizer. Like, what? What? Ugh. I'm just gonna fast forward through this other eye, because I, I can't. <laughs> Va va voom, check out those lashes. Oh, I can't, they're so good. Moving into the last steps here, gotta get these brows on. So how have you guys been doing lately, by the way? Please let me know in the comments. I do actually care about you all. I'm so happy I sent out the little prize package giveaway or whatever that I did with my Sephora give me more lip kit um, to the viewer that won it. Her name is Crystal and I was so happy that she won because I recognized her, you know, like 
yay for yay for that <laughs> she comments on all my videos and she's so nice to me and just so sweet and always puts a smile on my face and so I wanted to put a smile on her face and so I drew her sorry I needed concentration for a moment there um, but so I drew her a card with her um, she has rats pet rats and so I drew her her card if you want to see it I mean I don't know that you would want to see a drawing of someone else's pets but <laughs> um, her Instagram is wet fever dreams right I think I got that right but, yeah, I was so happy that she got the package and enjoyed it. I just love wrapping up gifts for people and, like, making them special. And I've never had a piece of my art make anyone cry before. So that was really, really special, Crystal. I just, I was so happy that you liked it. Um, but, yeah, there we go, you guys. We're all done. Woohoo. Just gonna set my makeup here. I know a lot of you told me I should decant this L'Oreal spray into a better spraying bottle. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But yeah, there's the makeup. It doesn't look okay. It better because it's this is this is what we're working with. Yeah, I don't know. I've got my my cheeks on. That highlight though. That highlight though. My eyes extra sparkly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. It's really nothing special today, you guys. <laughs> but I felt like doing a get ready with me, so there, there you have it. Let's see. Glasses on. Ah, vision is a beautiful thing. All right, so that was that. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I put on my makeup. I don't know, maybe you were putting on your makeup too and had me in the background. Yes. If you want to see my extra finished look for the day, I guess go watch my, uh, this review on the Revlon HDs and you'll see, you know, lips and I'll do something with my hair and I'll have on actual clothes and not a, you know, my PJs and a grandpa sweater. I'm just gonna sign off for now. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I hope you guys are all doing well and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Bye.